هنا وكتاب عمدة الأحكام للإمام الحافظ عبد الغني عبد الواحد المقدسي. We've reached up to the kitab. Sorry, we've reached up to باب المسح على الخفين. <coughs> المسح على الخفين is wiping over your خفين. خفين is what? It is leather socks. صحيح؟ خفين is that which you would wear to um, cover your feet. And we're going to talk about it in details. Um, the wiping of the, over the khufayn is something which is thabit, firm. In the speech of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, and his actions, um, so the wiping over the khufayn has authentically been transmitted to us from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's tradition by way of what? By way of tawatur, mutawatir. A hadith of Mas'ah al khufayn or mutawatir. Multitude narration. It has been transmitted to us more than asharat min al-sahaba, more than tons of companions. Ah. From those companions are the ten that were promised Jannah. The ten that were promised Jannah from them. And amongst the Sahabas, there is no khilaf regarding the matter of wiping over the khufayn. There's no khilaf amongst the Sahabas. And it is from the rukhas. It is from the matters in which the Sharia has given us an easy way. And that is, that is what shows us how complete the Sharia is. And that Islam is a religion of ease, simplicity. And no one opposes us in this matter of wiping over the khufayn except al-rawafid, except the rafidah. And because they are the only ones who oppose us in this matter, ahl sunnah wal jama'ah, what they did was they put al-mas'ah ala al-khufayn in masail al-aqidah. They made it matters of aqidah. So you find them in aqidah books. And they mention that anyone who opposes us in the issue of wiping over the sock or over the khufayn is a mubtada'. Ahlu al-ahwa, a person of what? Whims and desires and an innovator. Al-hadithu al-hadi wal-ishroon, the 21st hadith. An mughira an al mughira ibn al-shu'ba, radhi Allah ta'ala anhu. قال كنت مع النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم في سفره فأهويت لأنزع خفيه فقال دعوهما فإني أدخلتهما طاهرتين فمسح عليهما This hadith Bukhari and Muslim both have narrated it Bukhari narrated it in his sahih in Kitabu Al Wudu, Kitabu Al Salah, Kitabu Al Jihad, Kitabu Al Maghazi, and also Kitabu Al Libas. Muslim, on the other hand, only narrated in Kitabu Al Tahara. The wording of this hadith is the wording of Bukhari. The Sahabi who narrated this hadith, his name is called Abu Isa Al-Mughira Ibn Shu'ba Ibn Abi Amir Al-Thaqafi. He took Islam, Aslam Amul Khandaq. He took Islam the day of Khandaq. And he participated, was Shahid al hudaybiyah He participated in the Treaty of Hudaybiyah. Wa kana radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. داهية من دهاء من دهاء من دهات العرب وفارس مقدام وقد كان نكاحا للنساء. He was from the smart and the cleverest man of Arabs. He was from them. He was a horse rider. Very he knew how to ride. فارس. And he was also a man who was known to marry excessively. His companion نكاحا. He married excessively. So much large numbers of women he married. He divorced them, married again, divorced, married again. 
له عدة أحاديث. He has many أحاديث. In Bukhari and Muslim and in other than the, those books, من دواوين السنة. صحابي جليل. He died. ها. توفي إمارة الكوفة. He died and he was the leader of Kufa. ها. فهو معاوية بن أبي سفيان. He was a governor for Muawiya. رضي الله تعالى عنه. And he died on the 50th Hijriya. Or some said the 49th of the Hijriya. This hadith deals with what? The wiping over the Khufayn. The wording of the hadith. عن المغيرة ابن شعبة he said. Kuntu, I was with. Kuntu, I was. مع النبي I was with the messenger. في سفره in his journey عليه الصلاة والسلام. فأهويت. فأهويت means what? I stuck my hand out going down to the Prophet's feet. Ahwaitu, that's what it means when you slightly go down and you pull out your hand. To do what? Ahwaitu, I basically went, slightly went down sticking my hand out. That's what Ahwaitu means. What a reason? The reason why I went down was لِأَنْزَعَ So I can take off خُفَّيْهِ the Prophet's shoes. What he was wearing, alayhi salatu salam. His خُفَّيْن. To take it off from him. Alayhi salatu salam. فقال the Prophet said to Mughira, دعوهما, leave them both for me, don't take it off me. فإني for verily I, أدخلتما طاهرتين. I put them on with طهارة. I put them both on with طهارة. فمسح عليهما, and the Prophet wiped it over, over them too. Wiped over them. فقه الحديث. The فقه and the hadith. First one is استحباب, that it's recommended. ما? المسح على الخفين that it's recommended to wipe over the خفين بإجماع من يعتد به with the consents who those consents with the consents who those whose consents is taken into consideration with the consents of those whose consents is taken into consideration ابن المنذر رحمه الله مثلا he said والذي أختاره the, the thing I choose is أن المسح أن المسح أفضل that the wiping over the سهة Ibn al-Mundir said, that's what I choose. That the wiping is what? Is greater. لِأَجْلِ مَنْ طَعَنَ فِيهِ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْبِدَعِ مِنَ الْخَوَارِجِ وَالْرَوَافِضِ Because of those who are the khawarij and the rafidah, who try to criticize this matter. Wiping over it. Now some people don't realize that the rafidah are khawarij themselves. The rafidah are the khawarij. They don't take fear of the sahabas. And he said, وَإِحْيَاءُ مَا طُعَنَ فِي الْمُخَالِفُونَ مِنَ السُنَّةِ أَفْضَلُ مِنْ تَرْكِي And he said, Mundhir is saying, the reason is because those who try to disparage uh, and try to criticize from the innovators of the khawarij and the rafidah, it is recommended to revive that which the innovators and those misguided people are trying to discourage uh, from the sunnas, uh, which are great. Then leaving it. Two, اشتراط الطهارة Conditioning purity to wipe over the خفين. Ah, it's a condition. Before you put it on, you have to be pure. Three, استحباب that is liked. خدمة العلماء to serve the scholars. وأهل الفضل and the people of virtue to serve them. والصلاة. Why? فإن ذلك شرف للخادم. Because that is an honor for you, the server. The one who is serving, it's an honor for you. نعم. Four, حكم الجوربين والنعلين والتساخين حكم الخف. The shoes, the flip flops, huh? Socks and shoes, and even what socks? So the socks, the shoes, huh? They all take the what? They re they, say they take the ruling of the خف. Same. They're all the same. You can wipe over your shoes. You can wipe over your socks. You can wipe over your leather socks. All of them same rules. Your shoes as well. Five. نزعوا الخفين Taking off your leather socks or your shoes. Brothers. Huh? لا ينقض الوضوء It doesn't break your wضوء ولكنه ينهي المدة المسح 
but it brings an end to what? Your period of wiping. So you're not allowed to wipe after that. Your time comes to an end, but your wudu, that wudu you're in right now is good. But when you break that wudu, your time is over, you have to wipe over your feet next time. Make wadah. Those who say, those who say that if you take it off, huh? if you take it off, that your period is over, sorry, your pure, your tahara, your wudu is also going with the taking off. Then what about if I wipe over my head hair and then I cut my hair? I have a haircut after I had wudu. Does that mean my wudu breaks? Nah, it doesn't break. Al Muqimu, the person who resides in a place. Yamsahu, he wipes yom wa layla, a day and night. 24 hours is what you're allowed. If you're a resident, like you're in your house in a country, you're, you're, in your, you're at your place, meaning you're not a traveler, one day and one night is allowed for you. 24 hours. Well, Musafiru, the traveler, thalatha to ayamin, three days, pay attention. And it's night. And it's what? So three days and three nights. Min waqtil mas'h, it starts from the first day you wiped. Ala rajih, in the strongest view according to the people of knowledge. It's the first day. Number seven. Number seven. If the traveler it becomes necessary for him, فَلَهُ it is permissible for him. أَنْ يَمْسَحَ أُسْبُوعًا كَامِلًا He can wipe over for, over for a whole complete week. Huh? When necessity comes, he's allowed, he, it's permitted for him to wipe over what? For a week. Necessity like it. What's the evidence for that? The evidence for that is, عن عقبة بن عامر الجهني عقبة بن عامر the companion he said خرجت من الشام I left Sham to Medina okay يوم الجمعة a Friday ودخلت على عمر بن الخطاب and I entered upon عمر فقال عمر said to me متى أولجت خفيك في رجلك when did you put your when did you put on your hoof on your leg? When? He said, Yawm al Jum'ah. And then he said, Masahtu wa khala'atuhuma. He said, Did you wipe over them and take it off? How? Because remember, if he takes it off, what happens? The time comes to an end. Qultu la, I didn't do that. Qala asabta sunnati, you got the sunnah. And that was a week he, he was into. Week. This hadith is narrated by Tahawi and Daraqutni and Hakim and Bayhaqi and Hakim authenticated it upon, upon the condition of Imam Muslim rahimahullah. And an Imam al Dhabi rahimahullah agreed with him on this issue. And Shaykh Muhammad Nasir al-Din al-Albani rahimahullah, he also authenticated the hadith. And after he authenticated the hadith, he also proved that um, others have authenticated it as well. Others have also authenticated it. Number eight, which is the last one. وَلَا يُشْتَرَطُ And it is not conditioned. فِي الْجَوْرَبَيْنِ أو الْخُفَّيْنِ It is not conditioned on, on the socks that you're putting on, or your leather socks, or your shoes, or whatever you're wearing. أَنْ يَكُونَا سَمَكَيْنِ سَمِيكَيْنِ لَا يَنْفَذُّ مِنْهُمَ الْمَاءِ It is not conditioned that they are very strong, that water cannot go through it. It's not a condition. That's no condition. Ah. Those who condition that, say what? That the water has to, if water goes through it, then it's not, uh, and etc. Uh, that water is not allowed to go through it, then that condition is no basis. No basis. Naam.